The Quinnipiac Bobcats and the Monmouth Hawks played to a 0-0 tie Saturday afternoon. There was a total of 20 shots on goal, but none of them went in. I think that's the only thing that we're missing, you know, just putting the ball in the net. The opportunities are there, so as long as we're just going to keep working, eventually they're going to come. You know, we've been scoring a lot of goals this year. We scored four goals against Marist and two against Ryder, so we're not really that worried about it. Monmouth has considered five goals a year, so it's tough to break them down, as you could see. So. The Bobcats have shut out their opponent five times this year, and Goita says, though, the defense deserves the credit. You know, the back line is the same as last year with Steven's injury. That's the only thing that, that's changed. Nick, but he's been up to it. You know, there's been no difference, so we all get along really well. And <clears throat> I think the team is defending extremely well, and I think we're attacking well. I think we're in a good place right now. Quinnipiac is undefeated in conference play this far, and they are in a good place, tied for second. On the other side of the field was Eric Klonofsky. He had 14 saves for the Hawks and is arguably the best goalie in the MAC. Eric and me played together this summer, so he's a good friend of mine. So, uh, no, look, for me, it's all about the team. And, you know, if he's the better goalkeeper and we win the championship, but I don't have a problem with that. As long as the team is at the top, it doesn't matter whether I'm the best or the worst. QU will play host to Manhattan this Wednesday at 4 o'clock. For Q30 Sports, I'm Colin Babcock.